I kind of like this notion of just Harrison Ford having to go to Japan to fight Kiryu. <laughs> well, it's all that I've got left yeah. in life now that I'm not Han Solo anymore. Uh, they let <laughs> that new kid be Han Solo, the one who can't act. What a mistake that was. Yeah. By the way, folks, this episode was recorded in the future. <laughs> We've already seen the new Star Wars. <laughs> You remember that heart-wrenching scene where Jabba the Hutt admits that he was he was uh, Han Solo's real father the whole time, but had to give him up? What a heartwarming scene. Because really, you know, it's about family. Yeah. And Woody Harrelson makes out with Chewbacca. Oh, great. Being the most progressive <laughs> gay couple. <laughs> <laughs> I can't finish! <laughs> Just... <coughs> I heard about you. I heard Kazuma-san. Oh, you know my dad. I don't know if it's had anything to do with it, but... Five years ago... What do you mean? Forge an entire person! Diploma, passport, driver's license. That faked it all, and I got it filed in the public record. That's... Hmm. Yeah, Kiryu said the exact same thing I did. Just that? For what purpose? Nobody knows. Oh my god! Uh, what's her name? Yumi's sister never existed. Oh... Think about it. A person who only exists on paper, who we've likely seen before, like, that's what it's gonna be. Yumi's twin sister never existed. Really, it was just Yumi and now she's actually dead. Well, no, because, like, the dead uh, body wasn't her at all. Like, that one was, uh, someone no, no, she yeah. got shot. Oh, no, that was, uh, that was, uh... Oh, that was Reyna. Yeah, Reyna. That was the traitor. The betrayer. Yeah. Oh, there's an event going on. Well, oh boy. I'm kind of curious what's going down. Here you're tired. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, here you Chan. That's just petty, even by your standards, Majima. You're just hiding around corners now. Jim, oh my god, I just realized what happened. He booby-trapped my map! Great. He can attack me through my mini-map. Because this is where the event was. He was pretending it was a big event. Yeah. And tricked you. Like, he's actively hurting me now through game mechanics. just keeps happening. How long until Majima escapes the bonds of this game and starts attacking us? I don't want to live in a world where that's possible. I mean... Ready Player One, and then just Majima starts invading the film. Yep. Oh. Actually, I'd love to see that. Just like... Like... Uh, Capcom owns the film rights to something, and then just Majima is just in the film. Like, yeah. in the background, fighting Kiryu. And, like, that's it. And just only the people who know Yakuza have any idea of what that is or why it's happening. Sure. Oh dear, my sternum. Oh my. Oh, for a second I thought my heat bar was my health, and I'm like, when did I get that little? You know, these things happen. Yeah, when you're not paying attention, Goro just kicks the shit out of you.
the amount of time like the problem with the uh combo is that um oh he can what the hell is he oh shit he has the essence of neck breaking now oh my which is something he could get in yakuza zero which and he just broke kiryu's neck yeah and they're still fighting kiryu is effectively fighting with his neck pretty much flopping behind him the whole time I wonder if... Nope. Kind of funny, I have actually not had any of these, like, heat moves ever trigger out of, uh... The dragon style. No. There he goes. Allowing me to fill more of my bar. What's gonna happen when I've actually bought everything? Um, there might be some kind of special reward, but... You could buy more abilities. No! No! You could have a dream about riding a horse! Or you could have a dream about... Fighting Majima. No, I don't want to have a dream about fighting Majima. Can only be activated during climax heat mode. Exhaust all of your heat to increase your damage dealt in all si styles for a set amount of time. Perfect. Amazing. Oh, okay, no, there actually is a thing happening here. Oh, it's the fucking Club Sega. It's that stupid guy I promised the claw machine prize for, like, way back at the beginning of this Let's Play. Oh, I see. I don't even know if you remember that. No, no, I remember. Yeah. And we were like, oh, yeah. well, we played it a whole bunch of yeah. times because I, I was... But the animal, yeah, the animal never showed up. Yeah. And by the way, in all my <laughs> off-screen grinding, it's never shown up. I see. That is... Unusual. Well, it's like supposed to, like the guy mentions it's supposed to be like a super rare toy prize. Fair enough. But I didn't figure the game meant that rare. Jesus Christ. Man, so with ever, with the way things are going nowadays, I wonder how long until the, the 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 official Yakuza Netflix series? That would be cool. Yeah, actually, I think it would lend itself well to that. The only question would be: Do you retell the first game, or do you uh, do like some weird um, side sh story? Hmm. Well, I guess it would be probably. I mean, they did the main story in that movie. Yeah. And I mean, that's not a terrible idea or anything, but... I need all the burger combos you could get. Ah, oh, god, would a tuna burger even be good? Uh, ever had a tuna sandwich? Yeah, I guess. Kind of like that. Yeah, I guess it would be just like... Yeah, maybe. But yeah, no, I guess like, redoing the, the first story would be fine. And, like, you know, pad out the... Because the, Netflix has this weird thing about, like, they want their sub-series to have a set amount of episodes, so, like... Yeah. They could always pad it out with Majima episodes. Show what the fuck he's getting up to this whole time. Yeah. Actually, I'd love to see that. Like, just a uh, actual mainstream Yakuza TV show. Probably never happen though. Like, no. This, even by like standards of weird niche video games, this is a weird niche video game. Also, it's just occurred to me that now that it's daytime, Kiryu's been doing this stupid side quest for like 12 hours. No time for sleep. Yeah, Kiryu never sleeps. Kiryu-san, here you go. Here you go. Yeah. 
What's wrong? I'm sorry, Kiryu. I already gave it away. I'm terrible. Who do I have to find? Mizuno-san. Information center, alright. <laughs> I gotta go next time I'm in the area I should go to the pawn shop and sell off all this useless gold that's taking up my inventory. <laughs> all this useless gold. What use does Kiryu have for oh here it is. Well, alright then. It was right next to us the whole time. Incredible. What a heart wrenching story of good and evil. I don't have time for you. Let me in. Oh, god damn it. Oh my god. What a horrific move. Did you see the whole total of that? I just fucking, like, twisted his head off, really. Well, I mean, the moral of the story is if you see Kiryu coming, just stay out of his way, man. Yeah. These I mean, people just don't get it. There's certain people not to fuck with, and Kiryu should be the top of the list. I mean, like, it, even when he's not being a Yakuza, he actively looks like a Yakuza, so it's not like anyone... You can't mistake what he is. Yeah, like, you can't mistake the fact that he's a very clear threat to your person. Oh. Oh. This is the Mahjong Hall. This isn't what I was looking for at all. I don't even know how to play Mahjong. Neither do I. I'm not gonna learn. I actively refuse. No Mahjong for me. Yeah, no. None of that. Not happening. This is a good Christian household. <laughs> we refuse your Mahjong. Your heathen tiles. Oh wait, I don't want to buy something. My god, this salesman has a huge head. Like a f gigantic forehead. Gigantic forehead mode. Yeah, pretty much. It belongs in a museum, could bring profit. Oh. <sighs> Stupid esoteric selling methods. I have to fucking put them in. Alright, I don't need pocket tissues. Keep, keep. Uh, keep those for the fucking other stuff. You've got two of them. Yeah, I'm selling one of them. Oh. Dinosaur fossil. So yeah, you can tell it's Christmas time if you listen to the song playing right now. <laughs> I'm. I mean, it makes sense that of all places, the fucking pawn shop with all this ritzy shit would be playing Christmas music. I just didn't. I've never seen that happen before. Yes. And now it's sunny and presumably not freezing. That cold. Yeah. It's like Hamilton, really, at this point. <laughs> oh, hey, here's some sun. Oh, we're gonna freeze again. Here's some snow. Oh, it's gonna melt, and now the road's gonna be obfuscated by Silent Hill fog. And then at night, it'll be foggy and covered yeah. in ice. Just the it's just deadliest. like frozen memories. Yeah. <laughs> that one was actually pretty good, too, Frozen Memories. Yeah. It was interesting. Yeah. It was like a nice redo. Sequel. It's weird. Alright, we'll see you in a minute, folks. Uh, yeah. Take it easy, hunter.